And joining me now from London is Dr. Elizabeth Kendall, Middle East expert. Thank you very much for joining me today. You're welcome. It's a horrific tragedy that occurred last night in Yemen, but I want you to walk us through the humanitarian situation in Yemen. Yes, it is a horrific tragedy, and it's a stark reminder that the war is about a lot more than people just dying on the battlefield. The economic crisis that has been exacerbated by this war is massive, and that's why we're in a situation where we see hundreds of people crowding in to a school for a handful of dollars being handed out. And, and I think just to put it in context, there are many estimates of how many people have died in the war, but if you take into account the disease, the suffering, then the UNDP did come up with an estimate over a year ago that, that the number of dead is actually closer to 400,000 people. And also, there are about 20 million, just over 20 million people who still need humanitarian assistance, despite a truce that vaguely held last year. So that's about two thirds of the population. It's going to be incredibly hard to get that back on track, even if the political parties do now sit down for some serious talks. And speaking of those talks, how is this resumption of Saudi-Iran relations expected to help the situation in Yemen? Well, the resumption of Saudi-Iranian relations does take out two of the major foreign players in the war mix. So the hope is that part of their agreement was to remove their troops and their assistance from the parties inside Yemen whom they've been aiding. And that will definitely sharpen the focus of the warring parties inside Yemen in terms of, of getting a framework for peace. But it won't immediately create peace. And the reason for that is that there are many warring actors inside Yemen. It's not just those supported by Saudi Arabia and those supported by Iran. There are also southern separatists, there are Islamists, there are lots of different factions and militias. So the Saudi-Iran agreement is a very positive sign, but it's not enough in itself. Dr. Elizabeth Kendall joining us from London. Thank you very much for that breakdown.